Hi guys, welcome back. If you are new to the channel, greatly welcome to you guys. My name is Jean Paul, and this is the Seated Gun. have you with us if you are new please do make sure you subscribe by clicking on that link below make sure you send us your comments also ring that bell and you'll be told when the latest films come through follow us on our instagram by clicking on that link below where you'll be shown lots of great pictures about the shooting world and what we do when we're doing it and all those types of things as well we also have a fantastic website as well which you can also look at seated-gun.com make sure you check us out is we've got you the latest addition to the MiraQ lineup, the MiraQ MK game. Uh, now, for some of you who will be aware of MiraQ, uh, MiraQ is manufactured in Japan, of course, uh, hence the name, but is owned by Browning. So there are a hell of a lot of similarities with MiraQ and Browning. Uh, however, in my opinion, I have to be honest, it's the first MiraQ that I've been asked to review. It's the first MiraQ I've really had a good chance to uh, stop, look at, and have a good sort of touch and feel. And I have to say, I'm quite impressed. So guys, let's start at the back like we always do. Uh, this particular gun is a grade five walnut, American walnut. Um, now, obviously, uh, one of the big things with any woods is it's, it's the patina, it's the style of wood. Clearly my gun does like a miracle. So guys, what we'll do is, as always, we'll start at the back and work our way to the front. So, Miraki have uh, their own version of their recoil pad. So, you know, Beretta have theirs, Browning have theirs. What Miraki actually refer to theirs as is a decelerator pad. So, uh, unfortunately, because of the COVID lockdowns and all the playgrounds being closed and so forth, I actually haven't had a chance to shoot this gun. But from what I'm told, the pad on the back actually works exceptionally well uh, and is a very, 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 very good bit of kit. Um, later in the season when I actually shoot this gun, I'll actually also be able to tell you whether or not I agree with that. But certainly, um, touch, feel, it feels very absorbent, the material feels great. It's also hand fitted to the, uh, to the stock. And I have to say, the actual hand fitting of it is really nice and tight. Um, and it's actually nicely done. There's no overlaps, there's no rough edges on there. Really quite nice. Uh, the game gun is coming through. Now, Miraku haven't released a gun for the game market, officially for the game market, with any type of game engraving, which I'll talk to you about in a minute, um, for about the last 10 or 12 years. So this is something quite special because they are uh, clearly trying to uh, sort of make a bit of a stand really with the game market I think and really sort of get their guns out there for the people that actually want game scene engraving. Let's be fair about it, we can all go shoot game with uh, 725 Black Editions and uh, DT11s and so on and so on, which have no engraving at all. Um, however, when you are game shooting, it's really, really nice to have some game scene engraving, in my opinion, on the gun that you're using. The wood um, is a grade five American walnut, um, and I have to say, it's actually got some lovely, lovely colours in it. The only thing to bear in mind with the American grade fives is they are known for being quite brittle. So, you know, if a, if a stock is gonna crack, it's gonna be possibly on one of these. Just bear that in mind. I have to say I've never seen one crack and I've never heard of one crack, but unfortunately it is what it is. So, really nice gun. It is, I have to say, a very thick comb very similar to a 725 action. So, you know, if you are used to shooting something that is big, is clunky and chunky, this will suit you as well. I have to say, it, it suits me, I've got large hands, but if you are struggling with hand size, 
This might not be the gun for you. So as we've already said, guys, this is a quite a big, heavy gun. It's got big dimensions. Um, the comb is big, it's thick, it's good for big hands. Standard sizing, 14 and three quarter inch stock, um, which I have to say, a bit big for me. Um, but again, um, you know, there's no reason why you couldn't have that adjusted, cut down, made to measure after you bought the gun as a stock gun. All in all though, um, it's a really nice gun. Obviously you've got your little uh, silver oval underneath for your game initials to go on there. Obviously standard pistol grip. The nice thing with this is that all the hand, uh, all the checkering is done by hand. So it's not a laser checkered gun. So, you know, whereas you get your Brownings and your Berettas and you find that they're laser checkered and then they're hand finished, this is actually all done by hand. Um, and you can actually feel it as well. You can feel the difference, which I actually quite like because it really does give you the confidence of a really nice grip. But again, it's a personal preference. Obviously, you've got your standard teardrops on there, which is quite normal for a game gun. And then as you look underneath at the action, the engraving is pretty much all over this gun. They've not left any space whatsoever um, for any type of engraving to be missed. So you've got it going over your trigger guard, you've got it coming underneath your action underneath, where you've got obviously as well your BC Miracu and the MK game. Um, it's a really nice mix, I have to say, between the uh, field scene, the game scenes on the side of the action, and then you've got your Acanthi scrolls. The Acanthi scroll, I've got to be honest, is, is very, very tight and it, it's quite nice. Um, I'm not sure for the price, which we'll talk about in a minute, whether or not you can actually find something or you'd want something that for the same money has got better engraving. But that's again, a personal preference. Um, as I've said, the engraving is all over it. Uh, it's not on any of the action, uh, it's not less on any of the action anywhere. So it's it's nice and tight across everywhere, even across onto your top lever, uh, onto your uh, barrel changer and your safety as well. It is a nice gun, guys. There's no doubt about it. And the engraving is really, really nice. And I have to say, the field side of the engraving, on one side you've got a pheasants and on the other side you've got some partridge. And I've got to be honest, the partridge in my opinion, I think are a bit out of scale. Their heads look immense on this gun. Um, but again, I'm not objecting it. It's just, I think when you've seen something like 687 double L classics, or you've seen B15s, uh, B2Gs, that type of level of engraving, which don't get me wrong, again, is a price variance as well. Um, you sort of expect a certain level. And all I would say with the engraving on this particular gun is that it's there, and it's nice and for the money it's actually exceptionally good. On this side as I've said we've got the two pheasants um, and you've got one sort of hiding in a tree and then one coming out of a tree which is quite nice and then the whole gun in that and that scene is actually surrounded by the Acanthi scroll uh, which again really really nice. I love the Acanthi scroll I have to be honest. Really really nice. If we move on to the uh, fore end the engraving continues on the forehand bar, uh, which again is just a nice finish because sometimes you just wouldn't get that. That would just be smooth or it would just have sort of a line or a couple of dots, but they have uh, continued that along and that looks really nice. Again, you've got the hand checkering on the forehand. It's a rounded uh, forehand as well, which is quite nice. This is a 32 inch barreled gun. It is slightly heavy at the front end. Um, so you will notice that with the multi-chokes. Uh, they are flush fitting and they are the new vector type, which is very browny. The one thing you will notice is, uh, with it being a game gun, is you've got the solid top rib and the solid center rib. So you've got standard six mil solid top rib, which of course is very much game, game orientated. The big thing with this gun is that what they've actually done is um, they have made it a multi-choke gun. So, you know, you've got the benefit now of the multi-choke. I'm a big believer of having, you know, that freedom shall we call it um, and this is where this has really made a big difference because Miraku uh, normally wouldn't have got a game gun with multi chokes so they brought this out you've now got your game scene which is, of course is unique to the MK, MK game this model with your multi choke 30 or 32 inch barrels are available now obviously what you've got to bear in mind as well is as I've already 
spoken about the sizing and the weights and you know it is a big heavy gun because this is a multi-choked gun you will find that this is slightly nose heavy so what you tend to find is that the balance point is very much towards the end of the barrels now that's not a bad thing because what that does is that then gives you that little bit of extra weight when you are in the field to bring it round and I have to say it moves exceptionally well and it is a really nice gun to handle and hold now weight wise this is a tad over eight pounds so it is quite a heavy gun guys you are venturing into the 725 browning market uh, which if you haven't seen uh, my review of the 725 black edition click that card up there and that will tell you and show you all about that gun as well but it's a very very similar gun big difference the game scene um, the barrels are three inch and they've been shot proofed as well um, so they're, they're, they're ready to accept steel which again is really important if you do your duck drives you do a bit of wild fouling and so forth and so forth you've now got a Miracu that will do all of that which is in my opinion great and I have to say all in all it's a nice gun um, price wise it's going to be hitting the shelves at about £3,700-£3,800 so it's not a cheap gun and I think from my personal opinion one thing that I think is going to be uh, slightly I wouldn't say argumentative but slightly contradictory is would you want to pay four, the best part of £4,000 for a Miracu when you could probably get a Browning again it's a personal preference are Miracu as good as a Browning are Browning better than a Miracu it's that old chicken and egg situation isn't it let's be fair about it Miracu are owned by Browning so their understanding their technologies their in-depth research all goes through but it's made in Japan and let's be fair about it the Japanese and the Germans they know how to make stuff so all in all guys a very much a personal preference gun uh, rather than a trait shall we call it um, lovely gun well worth going and having a look at uh, and well worth having a go on if you have half an opportunity we're very fortunate guys today this gun's been loaned to us by Northampton Gun uh, their manager there Ashley always looks after us uh, with loaning us some new guns so by all means click on that link below uh, to their website uh, they've got lots of guns uh, ready for sale ready for the season and they'll help you uh, with anything you need to to be helped with um, guys hand on heart jury's out um, I like it but I don't love it um, I'd like to see what it's going to be like in the field